If someone you love passed away too soon, you've probably struggled to know how to cope with the grief and move on. Here with us today is Wisconsin author Irene McGoldrick, who wrote the book Two Chai Day. It is her personal account of living beyond grief. It is so nice to have you here. Thanks for having I've been me. perusing the book um, for the last you know, couple of hours here at work, and it really is well written. Why? Uh, tell me what led you or compelled you to share your story of the death of your husband. Well, the easiest answer is that I wanted to help people to um, have them live beyond their own grief. I think it's something that we don't do very well in America is um, dealing with grief. People try and skirt around it a little bit. And I wanted to write a very genuine and honest story about what it looks like to live beyond grief. We're looking at a picture here. This is of you with your first husband. Yeah. A really great quote um, underneath the photo. For somebody who's watching right now who finds him or herself in your shoes, what is your best piece of advice? Like your shoes, have, you know, right before, you know, right. when you found out about the diagnosis. Yeah, I understand. Um, <clears throat> I think my best advice is to accept all the help that is being offered you at the time and not to feel like you need to be strong all the time, to really um, be very honest with your emotions and what you're going through. I think people um, have a tendency to want to say, I'm fine, I'm strong, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, and I think everybody will be fine. But I think we also need time to allow ourselves to wallow a little bit mm -hmm. in the grief, really feel it and experience it um, in order to be able to move on in a healthy way. Uh, one part in here, which I think is an interesting message, you said our plan never included the cancer diagnosis at 38. That was never part of the plan. Plans change. Yes, and you include a lot of journal entries of his as he was going through this in the book. I do. He was a journal journaler always since he was in high school. So um, I included journals from um, before he was sick and then while he was sick in the book. I thought it was a nice um, juxtaposition of my story and his story if and you, our different experiences. If you read this, and I, uh, and I was, as I said, paging through it, and I'm feeling sick, so I, I almost started crying yeah. as we were talking about it because it's sad. It but sad. I want to ask you, have you been able to find happiness again now that Absolutely. it's been seven years? Yes. I have, I have, um, in many different ways. One way I am married again, um, but that's not the only way that I have found happiness again. Mm -hmm. But um, absolutely, it just takes time. And that's the hardest part, is that you just have to live every day until you are feeling better. But mm -hmm. it does come. It and this does. is a good guidebook for people who, who might think that they're going to be experiencing that, just to know what, what both of you were going through at different times. Absolutely, for anybody who mm -hmm. might experience a loss of any kind. Thank you so much, Thank Irene. You. It's really, it really is great. I encourage you to take a look at it. Two Chai Day. Um, we do have information on our web channel, so if you go to NBC15.com and click on News Links, we'll put you in contact with her web page, and you can look at this and a number of other things you have going on in your yes. life. Best wishes to you. Thank you. You too. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.